I am in the top 1%. I'm in the top 1%. Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy RC3 E and T and I'm getting ready to come at y'all with a video for today, man. Um, this is the video I said I was dropping tomorrow. So y'all probably already watched the Ronda Rousey video. So I'll make sure to link that up here when we get done with this video. So before we get started, don't forget to follow me on IG and Twitter down below. And yeah, let's get started, man. So this is how WWE should have booked the four horsewomen at WrestleMania. First, let's start with the man Becky Lynch. They pretty much have done everything right with Becky Lynch all the way up into the point of when Charlotte replaced her. Nah, Charlotte never would have replaced her the way I would have booked it. Everything would have just went Ronda and Becky on Raw. Now, I'm okay with the knee injury thing for a little bit, but she's been carrying this knee injury for months now. Let that let that ride. Just let her go into WrestleMania 100% and let her beat the brakes off Ronda Rousey because she needs the brakes beat off her for thinking that she is the man and that she is hot stuff when she isn't. And I believe at WrestleMania during the triple threat that Becky Lynch is going to come out on top. And even I hate saying that being a Charlotte fan, but it's pretty much been booked that way since day one. You know? But I would have just... Everything they've done right... I just never would have had the Charlotte segment. I just would have had those two cutting promos on each other all the way up until WrestleMania. And scheduled them for a segment at Fastlane and have them just fight each other then as well. I would have as well turned Ronda Rousey heel because Ronda Rousey gets booed anyways. So, I mean, it pretty much makes sense for her to turn heel, which I don't didn't really have a problem with her turning heel. It just didn't make sense with the triple threat match. Because Charlotte is already killed, but with Becky Lynch being the babyface in this feud, yes, you do have to go ahead and turn Ronda Rousey heel. And then that will make for one of the best closing matches in WrestleMania history. So we got that up off the way. Now, I'm going to say the best for last. I'm going to say Charlotte for last. But let's get to the Boston Hug connection, Sasha Banks and, ba and Bayley. Um, so, you could either go one or two routes with this. You can either have them face Trish or Lita for the Women's Tag Team Championships, and I feel like beating them will give them the star power of being a tag team that they need to be able to catapult the Tag Team Women's Division to another level by beating those legends. Or you could go down the route of the multi-women tag that they're going down now, which I just would have probably switched up the teams. Yeah, I actually would have switched up the teams. I would have Nia Jax and Tamina, but it would not be Beth Phoenix and Natty because, A, Beth Phoenix just needs to stay at home with her baby... I think she got a baby boy or a baby girl and stay home with Edge and do what she need to do. And Natty just need to go back to catering and sit where she's been sitting. I actually, the team, the other team I would have put in this match that I think pretty much deserves it and could put on a great match is the Iconics. The Iconics! The Iconics, just because they work very hard and I feel like they don't get the spotlight that they deserve. And I and they pretty much fit perfect into this match since they've been cutting promos on the Boston Hood Connection anyway. And I also will have it be an elimination match, which means the first. So say Sasha and Nia are going at it, and Sasha pins Nia. Nia and Tamina are out of the match, and it comes down to the Iconics and the Boston Hood Connection. The winner, you know, either retains or becomes the Women's Tag Team Champions. That's the way I would have did it. Which, I feel like, the best route to go here would probably be Trish versus Lita. So, obviously, they would both be baby faces. You're not going to come have Lita and Trish come back and turn heel. No, 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 no. This is honestly just two teams going at it. The Vets versus the people that are going to be carrying the women's division here very soon. And you just have them. It's just a friendly feud at this point. You know, they're cutting promos. They're making little jabs together. But they're not going to fight each other all the way up to WrestleMania, you know? That you just make this a simple feud because it doesn't need to be anything extravagant. It's Trish and Lita. When they get in that ring, there's their story in the ring would, would tell what they were cutting promos about, which I think will be pretty sweet. Excuse me. <laughs> and last but not least, Charlotte Flair. <laughs> so, Charlotte Flair would have not won the Royal Rumble match. It still would have been Becky Lynch. I would have had it in the same way it ended. Becky Lynch, boom. Charlotte go back to Charlotte goes back to SmackDown. She goes into the women's elimination chamber match. We never would have had 
we still would have had the women's tag team uh, elimination chamber match, but instead of having um, Oscar would have defended against. Oh, she didn't even defend, so it would have been a a women's elimination chamber match. Whoever it was, Charlotte and whoever else, probably the fillers who weren't on the show. You know, Lana, Naomi. Uh, wow, that's crazy because there's no other women on SmackDown. Natty, you could have put Natty in there. Uh, wow, I'm I'm drawing a blank on women right now because you know WWE doesn't have a lot of Ruby Riot when one on one with Ronda. Whoever else you fill in that chamber, I don't know. You could. I don't know, put some bots in here. I don't know. But anyways, Charlotte would have came out on top of it. It came down to her and Naomi. They, I would say Naomi goes for a rear view. Charlotte hits her with a big boot in the back of the head during counteracting the rear view. Natural selection into the figure eight. Tap, tap, tap. We got a new number one contender for Asuka's Women's Championship at WrestleMania. Now, y'all are going to hate me for what I'm about to say. We go into WrestleMania. This is the order I would have them go on. It would go Bailey. It would go Boston Hug Connection first. Match, m men's match, men's match, Charlotte and Asuka. Men's match, the main event, Ronda and Becky. Boston Hug Connection retain. Charlotte beats Asuka. Yes, I know you're going to hit me with that because she beat her last year and made her cap out. And Becky Lynch is on top. And then you have Boston Hug Connection and Charlotte Flair come down along with Becky Lynch at the end of the night, throw up the floor, hold up every single championship, and they run the women's division. That's the way it should have ended. That's, that, that's the way it should have ended this year with all the four horse women holding up all their championships and letting everybody know that they run the company and that, the, that this is their house. And that was set up the match between the other four horse women, uh, Shayna Baszler, Ronda Rousey, Sh what is her name? Shamir Duke something y'all know the other two names. I forgot sh shorty name, but y'all know it. Y'all get it At Survivor Series and we're probably gonna be at Survivor Series me and the good brothers and I probably will blog that But that's besides the point But that's the way I would have booked Wrestlemania for the four horse women be talking about that we back um, you know mom when I interrupt my video, but You know, that's the way I would have ended it the four horse women on top at the end of the night and then that sets up the match for Survivor Series, in my opinion, against the other four horse women, which we'll get into how we'll book that later. But we're going to get up out of here, man. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a subscribe for your boy right here. Check out my latest video over there. And don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to the Big Dog RC3, E, and T. And I'm out of here. Deuces. WWE.